I guess it's not really morning, it's uh, half past three. Uh, today I've knocked down another slab, but this time we've taken a different approach and just used the planer and the sander, and I haven't taken as much thickness off. Reading the comments yesterday made me think that, yes, losing that wainy edge, the bark, for instance, is probably not a good thing. So we've experimented today with this one. Just in time, buddy. And I think uh, I'm not putting it on the bar yet because yeah. it's not treated. So, so I think just the planer and the sander gives us all the character that we're going to need for the uh, for the bar top. I don't think it needs any more than that. I've gone in a zigzag pattern, sort of uh, this way than that way, to knock all the high spots off uh, on the initial pass. Then I've got all these gaps to fill with some resin, and then once we've filled them we'll give it a final sanding with the grain take it to a 120 or a 240 grit and then uh, I think stain 
and then polyurethane varnish on the top. But the twist doesn't matter as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so I'm a little bit disappointed on taking that one yesterday down too thin. But we can utilise it for another table or something. Table top, that. Yeah, table top or three yeah. or four. Three or four like that. But I like the idea that we're keeping the character on this, so that's the plan. So uh, Craig and Frog here, here <laughs> brought uh, brought me a pint down. So what we're going to do is uh, have a go at setting up that big uh, what's it MMA? It's a MIG welder. Yeah, big MIG Sit welder for M W A. I can't remember, G. Yeah, steel like that. Yeah, that's something like that. Yeah. 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 So because we're going to have a lot of uh, steel work to weld up for all these tables and whatnot in the next few days, I'll just get this sawdust up and then we'll uh, we'll make some fire in a workshop covered in sawdust and wood. That's a good idea, isn't it? Fire God. Can we not save this to smoke a few kippers? Yes. Yeah. Smoke me a kipper, I'll be back for breakfast. <laughs> Right, how do you get yourself roped into being a rat pisser, according to his box? <laughs> well, no, it's something totally different. You are! <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, 
It's one way of doing it. It's one way of getting you practice. Don't forget, kids bag of chips or something. Just a brief one today then folks, the lads have now gone into the beer garden for a quick pint. We've got this board, looks way better, way better than the one I did yesterday. I'm going to do all the rest of them like this. I think it looks great, I've even had a sneak peek with the alcohol, it's all dried out now. But you should see the grain, it comes out really black, it's really nice. So I'm going to go and get a pint, go and sit with the boys and girls in the beer garden for an hour before I get changed and then I'm going to go out for a few drinks tonight, childcare permitting. Oh, so tonight it's already five o'clock. So yeah, doors are locked, lights are off. We'll see you Monday, there'll be no vlog tomorrow folks, unless I do get into work, which is highly doubtful. See you then. The thought of you.